Sound is energy in motion. When I pluck on a harp string, I give that string energy. The energy makes the string vibrate, which in turn vibrates the air. Our ears pick up this traveling wave energy as sound. Every string on this harp has a different length, and some of them have different thicknesses. This makes each string vibrate at its own frequency, creating the sound of a different pitch. But there's more to it than that. Each string is actually vibrating at many frequencies at the same time. When I pluck a harp string, the energy is transformed into standing waves. Lots of standing waves. Now the biggest and the strongest, the one that we hear the best, is the one with nodes at either end of the string. This is called the first harmonic, or the fundamental. There's another standing wave on the string, one that has a node in the center. You can hear it if I play the string in a special way that damps out the first harmonic. Hear that? First harmonic, second harmonic. It's up an octave higher, same as this note right here. So by dividing the string in half, I can go up one octave. So this particular string vibrates at a particular frequency that in music we call bass C. Here's your first harmonic, your fundamental. Your second harmonic, one octave up, is middle C. Now there's another standing wave on this string. Our third harmonic will divide the string into three equal pieces. Let's see what happens when we hear that. The ratio of frequencies between middle C and this pitch is 2 to 3. This note is called G, or the fifth tone of the scale, and it's also very important in music. We can also divide the string into quarters. That will give us a C another octave up. If we divide it into fifths, that will give us a new tone, the E. And then, if I divide it into sixths, I'm going to get the G again. So, the fourth, fifth, and sixth harmonics together make the sound of a major triad, which is something our ears really enjoy. You hear this sound all the time in music. Now, you also hear these harmonics, though very faintly, every time I pluck a string. It would be the same if I played a note on the piano, blew a note on a flute or a trombone, or even sang. The harmonics are always there, enriching every note. Thanks for listening.